Today, let's talk about replacing relays. Now, relays are one of the most overlooked electrical devices on a vehicle. Now, the job of a relay is essentially to divert the electrical load away from switches. You know, back in the old days, our switches had big wires going to them, big contacts, and all the, the current and voltage would go through that switch. Not so in today's vehicles. We've got lighter duty switches, and they're essentially sending a signal to a module, and the module is turning on a relay or turning it off to control the main power going to an electrical device, such as a fuel pump, a starter, AC compressor, windshield wipers, stuff like that. So the relay is a very important component here in the electrical system. So I'm gonna go to the underhood relay panel here, and you'll notice quite often on a lot of these, you pop it open and you've got a roadmap of what all the different relays are. So for example, if you've gone ahead and replaced the fuel pump, it's not a bad idea to locate where the fuel pump relay is here. Simply rock it back and forth a little bit here and pull it up out of the way. I'm gonna take my new relay and put it back in the same uh, orientation there. And just like that, I've gone ahead and replaced the relay. Now in this particular vehicle, we've got several different sizes of relays. And so uh, if I look up here, I've got the EBL relay. Down below, I've got the radiator fan relay and the engine relay here. And they're all a little bit of a bigger, different style relay. That's quite common on a lot of vehicles. So ensure that you've got the proper relay required for the component you're replacing here. Again, as I pull this relay up here, it's not a bad idea to pay attention to the orientation of the pins here. Uh, in most cases, these are uh, unidirectional, so it can only go in one way here. And as you notice on a lot of the new relays, you've actually had a wire schematic here. So you see uh, the power coming in, and we've got the pulling coil here, and then we can see the output. And so with that in mind, I install my new relay in just like that. Again, this is a very simple electrical upgrade and something to be done after any of the major electrical components have been replaced. On this particular vehicle, uh, the history of it, the transmission relay went bad, acted just like a faulty transmission. Well, through some diagnosis, the technician determined that the transmission relay was bad. Now it ended up in the shop again with a starter symptom, uh, no crank, no start, ends up that the starter relay was faulty. So at this point, we're gonna do the customer uh, due diligence here. We're gonna go ahead and replace all the relays. If two have gone bad already, let's go ahead and replace them all here. Very cheap insurance to make sure they're not dealing with another tow bill if the fuel pump relay or something like that goes out. Hopefully now you understand the importance of relays and really just how simple and straightforward it is to replace them.